percentage of long-term unemployed, not just unemployed, long-term unemployed that are availing of our courses. And there are a lot of people unemployed, and I think that's an illegitimate enough campaign a priority of government. But certainly the sector has been stressing the fact that just because somebody comes along and engages with a literacy service, the outcome might not necessarily be that they have now gained employment. No, if that's one of their reasons for engaging with us first day, well and good. But what we're really talking about is trying to help people to prepare themselves for inclusion because those of the, the learners who are here today will know that without literacy and numeracy skills, you can be excluded not just from job but from society. So we will be looking and demanding a ring fencing of a budget for adult literacy, for community education, and we'll be insisting that we're not afraid of measurement, by the way. But, as I said, we are pointing out that not everything can be measured in terms of whether or not people now have a job. I was glad that the question came up about the professionalism or otherwise of the profession. I know that NALA realises that we owe it to our, our learners and I certainly think that in Cork ETB we can be quite proud of the efforts that we are making to continuously upskill our tutors to ensure that they have if at all possible, a professional qualification. And I do believe that the more people we can have educated or trained as tutors, the better service we'll provide. I had a discussion recently with our adult education officers who pointed out very strongly to me that they believed that, well, they wanted to ensure, as we are moving into a new organisation, that tutors, be it in community education, or in adult literacy, or in our youth treat centres, are not seen in any way as second-class citizens in comparison with our teachers in our schools and colleges. And again, and it was reinforced during the week by my experience, that is not the way that we look at people. Now, we do realise that people come along as volunteers, make a huge contribution as volunteers, and have no great wish to progress as, you know, as, as a pathway, so to speak, in terms of a career. But we also believe that those people, that once we've encouraged them into the service, we've got to try and do everything to ensure that they are upskilled so that they do provide for learners a quality experience. We are very conscious of the need to try and integrate literacy and numeracy into all our services, and we are encouraged by the work that NALA is doing in that area, and I know that they're working very closely with ETBI and with the Department of Education and Skills to try and ensure that literacy and numeracy are integrated into all our services and it's not just seen as something that is out there for a particular cohort. The PIAC figures showed there is still a problem, there is still a challenge in Ireland and not everybody is necessarily going to knock at the door of the literacy service and look for help. But as educators, we should be able to ensure that no matter what part of our services they engage with, that we are conscious that people need some help 
and need some support in that area. I was going to go on at that stage and congratulate Nala for the work they've done. I think I've already done it. I don't in any way want to sound patronizing. I meant what I said. 